very much. I'm honored to be back here at St. Andrews, and I'm very excited to share with you all the exci exciting developments that we've um, achieved in the last, since 2012 when we won the, the prize. I'm gonna start the presentation with talking about the background of what the Lion Guardian model is all about, and then I'm gonna move on to our success story in the last few years, and then I'll end with a short clip by Sir David Attenborough, um, who visited us last year. The lion population is rapidly declining in Africa. About um, 60 years ago, scientists estimated there were probably half a million lions. Today, there are less than 30,000, with more than half of them residing in East Africa. And that's why we focus our work in the eastern part of Africa for that reason. The Lion Guardian program is based on three major components founded on um, cultural values of the Maasai communities. First, we mitigate conflict in the communities by using their traditional knowledge. Um, also, we use the role of the Maasai warrior to stop lion hunts. And thirdly, we blend the traditional knowledge um, with more Western-based technologies to monitor, um, to accurately monitor the lion population. The combination of these techniques leads to a reduction in lion killing, and ultimately, it increases the, um, the opportunity for coexistence between people and lions, um, and with the main goal of really being able to reduce lion killing for the long-term goal. The group responsible for the lion killing are these Maasai warriors. They kill lions to gain prestige within their community and honor. So what the Lion Guardian pro program does is that it transforms the lion killers into lion guardians by providing the prestige and honor through employment and through other ways, and actually gives them more honor than through lion killing. We started the, or the program in the southern part of Kenya around Amboseli National Park about seven years ago, but since the prize, we've expanded to two new sites in Tanzania, one in southern Tanzania around Ruaha National Park and the other one in northern Tanzania around Tarangiri National Park. Both of the, tar the Tanzania expansions were done in partnership with Tanzanian organizations. Also, lion guardians spend a lot of their time reducing conflict between lions and livestock. They find, you know, they found 30,000 lost livestock since we received the prize in just two years. They found a lot of lost herders. These are young boys between the age of five and 10 that get lost in the bush. Um, and they bring them back safely. They also reinforce livestock corrals, so lions can't actually enter into people's homes and take livestock. So the amalgamation of these methods um, has led to a reduction in the number of livestock that are killed, and in turn, the number of lions that would be killed in retaliation. So it's very much proactive conflict mitigation um, that results in, in an increase in the lion population. Since we've received the prize, we've been able to maintain a 99% reduction in lion killing in the Amboseli area. We've also been able to reduce lion killing in the region in southern Tanzania by 99%, and we've had no lions killed in the site we've just expanded to last year in northern Tanzania. All of these sites were experiencing a lot of lion killing previous to when we, we, we were in there. Also, because there's less lion killing, the lion population is increasing. We've almost tripled the lion population now around the Amboseli ecosystem. It's one of the only places in the world where the lion population is actually increasing and not decreasing. We have about 125 individuals in this region now. But also since the prize, we've been able to increase the number of East African staff that we have. We have <coughs> about 75 East Africans working with us now, both in Kenya and Tanzania. But, but also we've been able to include a lot more women in our program through more culturally appropriate um, you know, uh, jobs that we could find them. Um, so s also with the, with the St. Andrews Prize, we, we built a training center we've always wanted to build. Um, we've trained 150 people in the last year since we finished completing it on adult literacy, on um, appropriate field methodology skills, um, and it's something that we're, we're actually very excited about and we're hoping that we're gonna continue to work on our training program. Also with the prize money, um, we developed an educational film to help facilitate our expansions across East Africa. It's the film that I showed last year when I was here. Um, and it's something we're very excited about. We've shown it to over 3,000 people now in East Africa. And it's, um, it's in the Ma um, language, so the community can really understand with it and identify with it. Also, since the prize, we've started our Lions for Life program. So we provide benefits to communities that tolerate living with lions. Um, and here's an example of one of the, the benefits we provided with some of the other stakeholders in, in the ecosystem. We provided an eye clinic, because it's something that people really needed. Um, also, we've, since the prize, we've um, increased our international recognition. We've been in National Geographic, Africa Geographic magazine. We had Sir David Attenborough visit us last year um, and as part of the, the BBC Africa series. 
and we also won the Future for Nature Award this year. The problem is, is that lions, they don't know boundaries. They're moving outside of these areas where lion guardians are currently operating, where they're protecting them. And um, it's the lions that you see here, they've all disappeared with an additional 20, 25 lions that have disappeared in the last two years. And I want you to pay particular attention to this female here. This is her when she was a cub. Her name is Nella White. She's a very um, good lion. She doesn't eat livestock. But she went outside of Lion Guardian area about five kilometers north into a new territory and she was killed for apparently no reason at all. But she just left that area of protection and this is how we found Nella White. So this has really pushed us now and urged us to start thinking about expanding our program um, to the larger area of Maasai land, which is the southern part of Kenya and the, the northern part of Tanzania, this white area. So I just want to end by saying a, a very big thank you to St. Andrew's Prize um, for believing in me and believing in the Lion Guardian model. Much of what we've been able to achieve was um, the St. Andrew's Prize that gave us the catalyst to be able to do everything that I've talked about today. So thank you very much.